Hello and welcome to a video tutorial of Pencil. Pencil is a very basic 2D animation software and is available to download over the internet for free and can be used with a Windows, Mac or Linux operating system. Now please be aware I am using a Mac computer. What we're going to be doing in this video tutorial is just exploring Pencil a little bit to produce a very basic 2D animation. So, what I'm going to be using is some of the tools over here. I may later use some of the colors. And also I'd like to draw your attention to what I refer to as the timeline underneath. We're not going to talk too much about the bitemap layers or the vector layers. Okay? Um, they're something that I doubt very much will really make a difference to any basic animations that you will produce. And we may learn about them later on. So for now, the animation that I would like to produce is a very simple ball, which is going to bounce up and down, up and down, up and down. So to do this, I'm going to go over to my pencil, and I'm going to go and select this tool, which is my pen, and I'm going to draw my attempt at a ball. So here it is. And I'm sure there's better artists and uh, animators out there, but let's just pretend that's a perfect circle. And then what I need to do, remember the animation is a sequence of 2D or 3D shapes or images that are sequenced together and when they're shown rapidly one after the other, they give the illusion of movement. And that's all we're going to do in pencil. We're going to produce very basic images, okay, 2D images, and we're going to go over to our timeline and we're going to sequence them one after the other. And then we're going to go and click the play button and they're going to go and show them rapidly one after the other and that is going to create the illusion of movement. So now I've created my first image, my first frame, which I'm going to refer to them as, or keyframes, okay? And I'm going to go and push the plus button because now I need to go and create another image. Now, you can still see the first image that I produced, which is the frame before. So I'm now on frame two, and you can still see frame one. That's because I've got this thing called uh, switched on, which is called an onion skin. If I don't like it, I can turn it off. But for me, it's quite handy to keep on, so I know where my last image was, or my last frame was. So I'm going to leave that on. I'm going to go, and I'm going to produce a sequence of these circles bouncing up and down. So there's another one. I'm going to push another frame and I'm going to produce another image. And we're going to produce a lot of these little circles, okay, because that's going to be our ball and they're going to bounce up and down, okay, and that is going to give the illusion of movement. So I'm going to leave you now and come back to you in a little while. Now as you can see, there is a... Um, it does take some time to draw your images one after the other, okay? And as we explore our pencil in a little bit more detail, you can see how you can use a feature to copy and paste the same image in the frame to save you having to draw it over and over again. So we're just finishing up now, okay? So now, We've produced, as you can see, the number here, 43, if we go down to our time frame. We've produced 43, okay, 43 different 2D images, okay, of a basic circle. I'm going to turn my onion skin off so it's easier to see. Basic 2D animation circle, or an attempt at a circle. And you can even see as I'm clicking through it very, very quickly, this rapid sequence of 2D images is giving the illusion of, mu of, of movement. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over to this play button, okay, and I'm actually going to click this button as well, which is loop, which is going to loop my animation one after the other, so as soon as it gets to the end frame, it's going to go back and loop back to the beginning. I'm going to click play here, and you're going to see this ball bouncing up and down. Now you can see I haven't been very creative, because the ball doesn't look like it is, or perhaps it's a bouncy ball, it seems like it's got a mind of its own, I wouldn't say that there's any science in the way it's bouncing right now. Um, but this is up to the animator, you, to create the animations that you would like to do, okay? Which is why it's very important to sometimes plan your animations on a storyboard. You want to know what frame follows which, okay? 
So this is a very, very basic animation, okay? But it is an animation because we've got 2D image that is given the illusion of movement, okay?